Hi everybody, Christine here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, hello. Um, today I've got friend mail. <laughs> and I'm super excited. Okay, before I start, please ignore my hands. Okay, because I've had an allergic reaction. So yeah, just ignore those. Um, yeah, so I've got a friend mail, and this has come all the way from America. So I'm really excited. And this is from GP nan art and it's jessica now i'm going to leave her youtube up on screen please go and um, subscribe to her and show her some love and um, say that i sent you she is absolutely amazing she's oh she's just she's just such a lovely lady and i love watching her youtube um i watch every single every single video that she does i i watch um she does dip powders and i really like watching it because i don't really do much dip powders um i mean i can do dip powders just it's just i just haven't done many but i like watching it so yeah she does like manis <laughs> that's what they call them uh dip powder manis and i love it it's it's really good so i like watching her channel she's also got instagram page which i should leave up on screen so you can go and follow her on there too and yeah so the box is at the side of me now i've took off my address so you can't see here's the box right okay so i'm going to open it to the side um because it is a quite big box um yeah so i'm super excited so yeah please go and please go and show her some love on her channel because she she's just she's just the sweetest and kindest and she's just lovely i i, I jessica much love girl okay um right okay oh i'm getting excited okay <laughs> i'm trying to undo it in a minute because it's got a lot of tape on because it's come far it's come from um a long it's come a long way right let's oh okay all right now i don't know if i can open it like this Right, bear with me. I'm just trying to find the best way of opening it because obviously I don't want to break it. Anything in it. Right, I think. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so what we got here. <laughs> Is this? It's a fun fact. Um. I'm going to have to wait for Mason for this, and I. This looks like it, 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 it's for, 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 oh, no. I'm going to have to wait for Mason. <laughs> I cannot open this without Mason. He will throttle me if I open it. It's, I can see it's got food in it. So, yeah, I am. Um, let me just have another little sneak peek. Let me just have another little sneak peek. Right. No, right, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm not going to open it. So I've just had a little sneak peek, okay, and I've put it back down. Now, um, Mason's out at the minute, um, but he is going to be back in a minute. So I'm going to stop this video, and when he comes back, I'll get back on it. Right, okay, so Mason's back. <laughs> I haven't peeped. Hello. <laughs> My glamorous assistant is here with me um right okay so let's get this box so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open it up right so mason's going to read it can you read can you see down there what what does it say mason there it says do you want me to turn it round yeah you come round here look i want everyone to see what it says it says fun fact yeah connecticut is called the nutmeg state not because we have nutmegs but because the salesmen were said to be shrewd, uh, said to, oh no, it's because the salesmen were said to be so shrewd that they could sell wooden nutmegs. <laughs> this is your New England snack box. <laughs> Say hello to your, to your new favourite snack. Look at this, look, look. Yeah, and it's from, uh -huh, look, not from look, Ravel now. Look. So there <laughs> it's you go. Not from them. So there you go. All right. 
right okay and then inside we've got some paper here so i'm going to put that back so we've got some brown paper so we're going to take off the brown paper oh. <laughs> it's snack surprise <laughs> oh my god we've got a snack Snack surprise from New England. Right. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Are you All showing right. it to the camera? Yeah. You show the little map. Lift, lift the camera up a bit. You show yeah. the little map. Yeah, shall I lift it up a bit? Yeah. Hold on then. Hold on everyone. Let me just lift you up. <laughs> lift up a lot. Oh, is that enough? That's enough. I know, but I want to be able to see it, so that'll be enough, yeah. wouldn't it? I so think. Open hold up. on, hold on. There you go. New England right. is a region comprising six states in the northeastern United States Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. It is bordered by the state of New York, New York to the west and the Canadian province of New Brunswick to the northeast and Quebec to the north. The Atlantic Ocean is east and southwest. So southeast and long south Long Island Sound is to the southwest. The largest metropolitan area is Great Boston. The largest city is Boston. The Denimins is New Englander and Yankee. The dialects is New England English and New England French. Oh, there you go then. Where would you like to go if you were to go? Where? To America. Where would you go? I don't know. Any thought? Vegas, I think. Vegas. Yeah. Boston's supposed to be cool, though. Yeah, I would like to go to Boston. Right, go on then. Right. Read it out then. Hello, Christine. Hi, my lovely friend. Thank you so much for always reaching out and cheering on me and appreciate your support. I thought you would get a kick out of getting a New England snack box. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is great. Oh, my God. Some things. So, we'll All start right. with... Then. What we started with? Chris. We're starting with the crisps. These are deep, these are mesquite barbecue kettle cooked potato Hold on. chips. Let me move this box a bit because it's still the bit. The box is quite big. Let me put the crisp out. All right, yeah. Go on. Down home, done right. The perfect blend of mesquite, brown sugar, and paprika, with notes of exotic spices. Your taste buds will thank you. Ooh. No artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. Certified gluten-free, non-GMO, ingredients produced in a nut-free facility, deep river snacks are cooked exclusively in sunflower oil. Supporting charity, this bag features the Amazon Liver Foundation. The American Liver Foundation works to educate and raise awareness for the dozens of forms of liver disease, in addition to raising funds for research. Oh, there you go. What does it say there? I know Mason. I know Mason loves his chips. Oh. oh. I do love my crisps. <laughs> Does the big crisps. <laughs> oh, look at those. Like, how show... Let me just put show the camera. Oh, sorry for moving it around. It's just that I want you to see them. Oh, they look so oh. delish. What they like. They look really nice. Right, have a go. They're a mix of like those voodoo crisps and barbecue. Are they really? Mmm. Yeah. God, why are their crisps so much better over there? Aren't they? They just are. Yeah, I like those a lot. Do you like them? Mm-hmm. Mark, call them. Next. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. We got Boston Baked Beans. Boston baked beans, that one there. Candy has been a product of the candy industry for almost a hundred years. They debuted in 1924. There are no beans. Not a one. But they are peanuts and they are le le legumes. Just like beans. They are also roughly the same shape too. So they all look like them without containing any black containing any baked beans at all. The sugar coated candy is dyed red to resemble baked beans. And the peanuts are mixed into the liquid candy and left to dry to deserve a hard coating. The coating doesn't taste like beans. It is sweet. <laughs> oh my god. It's baked beans. 
Right, okay. Has it got a little opening? Open. No, you shove them in the front, no. you shove right, you shove them in the no, back. It says open here. Yeah, you shove them in there. Where's the coat where's the tin opener? <laughs> Get the tin opener. So we can open the beans up. Ooh. Wow. They look like them. Yeah, what is it? Is it? Nice. Try one of them. Oh. No, try one. Right. They're not a crunchy peanut. Oh, they're really sweet. They're actually quite nice, you know. I quite like them. Mmm. What do you think? They are so strange. Some like nothing I've ever tried in my life. They're really nice. I like them. What do you think? Do not like them because they're nuts. Right. Sit down. They're very sweet. So yeah. Right. What's next? <laughs> what's next? I'm not You're looking in. Kidding. I'm not looking in. Go on. What we got? It's Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Happy little tree mints. Great when you're on the go, this pocket sized tin is filled with tree shaped mints and features the quirky artist <laughs> Bob Ross. Renowned for his landscape paintings, the perfect gift for a colleague, a friend, or yourself. These ziggy treats will make everyone happy. I hope you enjoy it. It's the little extra thing. I hope you enjoy your happy little mints. Bob Ross actually lived in Florida. So, uh, so a little bit of when I was living for the last 12 years and here too uh, did she write that yeah let's read that again sorry i hope you en i hope you enjoy your happy happy little mints bob <laughs> ross actually lived in florida so a little bit of when i was living for the last 12 years and here too wow <laughs> i love the tin though that's great it's bob ross it's bob ross ah <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, are these a bit like the similar ones that we had from amanda that time do you remember they were trees? They weren't mints. No, though. they weren't mints. No, they, they weren't mints. Like this, they, were, they were they were flavoured, but they yeah. weren't mints. And they, and they, they look just like that though. No, no, they're, they're a bit bigger. Oh, they're nice. Oh yeah, they're a definite winner from me. I love mints. I do not like mints. Mm. <laughs> he don't like mints. But I absolutely love <laughs> Can you tell? I love them. Especially Soft, punchy ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love them. <laughs> I love them. I love the tin. <laughs> the tin's crying. <laughs> I'm keeping that tin. Oh. I love the mint. Yes. I love them. Is that what's next? It's my oh. favorite. I love these. You know I do. Now, this is Mason's favourites. Have a big as well. My favourite. Well, let me tell you, yeah, so he actually loves these sweets, okay? Um, not much anymore. I used yeah, to not them. much, but, but but you used to. You used to be well into them. Now, not not just that, yeah, but when he was little, he was well into Peppa Pig as well. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I love my... He love loved... My, love my boy, George. Yeah, he loved Peppa Pig. So, um, yeah, that's quite funny. He had, he had, he didn't have the house, but he had the car and he had the playground yeah. and he had all the, all the stuff that goes it's with it. Exposing um, it. He had all the pigs, Daddy Pig, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Stop using exposing it. He had it all. So, yeah, that's cool. Does it say anything about it in there? Petal's first market is as a compressed peppermint sweet in Vienna, Austria in 1927. By Edward House the Third, the name Pez is an abbreviation for pre pef pefferminers, German for peppermint. The original product was a round peppermint lozage called Pez Drops. In 1973, Pez in the U.S. grows to the point that, in addition to distribution, the company begins to manufacture the candy domestically. Pez spikes ground on a new warehouse and manufacturing facility in Orange, Connecticut. On November 19th, 1973. In 1978, Pez introduced interchangeable rubber head character dispensers. Oh, there you go. You didn't know that, did you? So, yeah. I know a bit of that, there you actually. go. Huh? Pez research. Yeah. 
there you go. So we won't try these because he knows what these yeah, like. He, 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 he loves them. If we go anywhere and he sees them, he's like, oh, can I have some of these? He still does it now. Right, what's next? Goldfish. Check, it's squeaking. Right, go on and read it out. Oh, these um, goldfish crackers were launched in the US in 1962 after Marjorie. Marjorie. Hold on a minute, Timber. Oh my god, Margaret, the city is Margaret. <laughs> After Margaret visited a Swiss premium cookie company, Camberley, and tried their goldfish crackers, <laughs> Margaret saw the potential and reached an agreement with Camberley to make and sell the products in the US. First federal flavours were cheese, pizza, smoky barbecue, and lightly salted, now called original. Today, the Pepperidge Farm main offices are still on the site of the first commercial bakery in North uh, Norwalk. That is amazing. Look how they open. Look, look. <laughs> look how they're in look they're in a milk carton that's how that's how old milk cartons yeah you know before milk cartons become with the lids yeah, yeah, on it yeah, yeah. that's how they used to be like that go ahead and get one out it's goldfish yeah, yeah. i love gold tip one on there yeah they're not a lot of little cheddars a goldfish <laughs> god boy the goldfish yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm. We like. Right, what's next? We got. Enjoy Junior Mints. Junior Mints. Oh, I love, I love mints. Since joining the Tootsie family in 1993, oh. Junior Mints has continued to thrive as an American candy favourite. Today, Tootsie produces more than 15 million Junior Mints a day. All from its original Cambridge, Massachusetts plant. Named after the popular Broadway show of the time, Junior Miss, the pure chocolate covered candy has been in both a movie theatre and at home entertainment favourites. It's even played an integral role in a classical Sign House episode storyline. A Junior Mint was dropped into the abdominal cavity, abdominal cavity of a surgery patient who later miraculously recovered. <laughs> now, these. Are mine. Yeah. Uh, I know what they're gonna oh god and they're chocolate. Oh yes. Oh they're a bit squashed. I think they've been through the chocolate wars. Go on. How's it taste? Oh yeah. Oh I love them. <laughs> I love them. I love them. They're a bit squashed because I think they've probably melted in the weather that we had. Oh yeah. But trust me. Oh I love them. Alright. Yeah. Next. Next. Something else you like. Mouse was initially created by a candy maker named Vincent Nitido. Vincent lived in West Haven, Connecticut and sold a single piece of Mouse for five cents. He created this delicious piece of candy in 1920, over a century ago. In 1929, the Peter Paul Cam Candy Go Manufacturing ahead. Company bought this candy bar and started selling them. Mmm. The famous, uh, the saying was written. The famous slogan is: "Sometimes you feel like, a, sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. <laughs> I'm gonna like this. You might like it. No, dark chocolate and coconut. You might like it. Oh yeah, you don't like dark chocolate. Nor coconut. <laughs> oh, it's like a bounty. Oh, it's like a bounty. Oh, <laughs> it's like our bounties. Look. Oh my god. I love this. This this is great. Yeah, this is like right. Like, this is like what we call a bounty here, um, and it's in two bits. I don't know if this is in two bits. Mm, mm. Yum yum. Yeah, it's in two bits. It's what we call a bounty, and I yeah. absolutely love a bounty. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. <laughs> right, yeah. Next. Oh, look, look, by the way, I've got some, got some nice little stickers. Oh, oh and those two. <laughs> Next, we have Neko wafers or a sugar-based candy sold in rolls of variously flavoured thin discs. First produced in 1847, they became the namesake and core product of the now defunct New England Confectionery Company, which operated near Boston, Massachusetts. Its role of Neko. Neko, it's even Nico or Neko, but 
wafers contain Neko. eight flavors lemon lime orange clove oh. cinnamon water green you're gonna like these and them. chocolate you're gonna like these then and the uh, extra added thing is these are some of my favorite candies my favorite flavor is the chocolate of course is this which Jessica? is yours yes yeah. right okay let's have a look now right what's the green the green is lime I'll have the white, which is... No, you'll have the white, it's cinnamon. Mmm. Orange is orange, like that. Mmm. The white one was nice. Mmm. They're really nice. Mmm. What one have I got here? That's white, cinnamon. What one did I just eat? Lime. Mmm, I like the lime. And what's the cinnamon? No. Mm, I'm not really keen on cinnamon. What 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 what, what one's the chocolate? It looks to be all the way down there, so Oh, really? Yeah. We'll have to give our later thoughts on it. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to give you later thoughts. Let's we can open them up. Let's open them up. Is this the chocolate one? No. No, what's this one then? Um, that looks like. What's the chocolate one then? Well, the chocolate was the brown one. Cool, we ain't got many chocolate yeah, ones, the chocolate have one. we? Chocolate one's the next one. That's half it. Is that it? We only got one? Oh, there's one down there. Do you want to half it? Yeah. That is nice as well, though. Mm. They're all nice. Mm. They're all nice. Not too keen on the cinnamon one, though. Yeah. Because I'm not really, I'm not really into cinnamon, but yeah, they're really nice. Right. Okay. Right. And then. Ugh. She said, I couldn't leave Timber out. Oh. Fast food fun facts. <laughs> the world's largest toy distributor is none other than McDonald's, thanks to their Happy Meals. Every single day, almost 1% of the global population eats at McDonald's. That translates to 69 million people, with 75 burgers being sold every second on average. Who is the, who is the most famous McDonald's franchise owner? It would have to be me. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Go it on. just has to be the Queen of England. Queen Elizabeth's Crown Estate is home to the fast food chain, along with some castles and a race course. And then, I hope that I hope this gave you a laugh. Thanks so much for being the, being the amazing thoughtful woman you are, Jessica. Oh. Thank you, Jessica. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Timber. Um, yeah, these are for Timber. Well, let, but let's just say so before we give them then. Um, Mason works at McDonald's. Yeah. Don't you, Mason? Do they still do happy toys, the toys? Are they all stopped? Because hmm. I thought they'd stopped. So, you get an option of a toy or a book. Yeah. A book comes in, uh, just a book. It's a small book. Made of, like, really cheap paper. And yeah. then, um, toys are either plushies made by a singular company. Yeah. Or they are made, they're toys made of paper. Because uh, the plastic toys, they're all no, stopped, don't they? No, they don't happen anymore. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah, that's what I so thought, the plastic toys. toys. They're, all, they're paper toys and, and, and they're like all these. really bad. Are they? Oh, Timber's going to love these. He's going to love them. And they've got a squeaky in them. Oh, yeah. What have we got here, Timber? What have we got here? I think we've got a new toy for our Timbers. New toys. He's going to love his new toys. Let me just give him one. We'll give him the fries. Oh, he cutting it, he cutting it. Is Timber got a new toy? He loves a new toy. He loves a new toy. Timber got a new toy? What we'll do is it's quite late now, so we'll take a photo and I'll, and I'll put some photos up on screen when he's playing with it. Timber got a new toy? Oh, sure. still got some stuff on it, hold on. Has it? You got it? Oh, Timber loves new toys. Loves new toys. Got it? Go on then. 
What's that timber? Is that for timber? <laughs> Go on then, get it. Oh. Oh, yeah. He likes that. And we'll give him this one. And we'll, I'll take some photos and I'll put it up on screen. Um, yeah, Jessica, thank you. And uh, and please go and follow um, Jessica, GP Nail Art, like I said at the beginning of the video. Um, she's amazing and I cannot thank you enough. And um, Timber says thank you. Yeah. He just sque Did he squeeze that then? Yeah. Yeah. Timber said thank you and thank you from Mason. And we love you. See you later. Bye. 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 Got your lots rolling on them, look. Oh, are you rolling on the fries? Where's the other one? Where, where's the burger? Oh, is this the burger? Is this the burger? Is it the burger? <laughs> is it the burger? It's the burger. Ready? Ready? Go! Bring him back. Bring the burger back. Here he comes. Here he comes. And he's got the burger. He likes to put it down and then he likes to have a little chew of it. And then he might have a little roll of it. He's got both of them now. Have you got both of them? Have you got the... <laughs> Timber. Timber, you got that in your mouth? <laughs> he's got that in his mouth. <laughs> He loves his new toys. Thank you, Jessica.